Let's get started. Well, it's time to get this raised bed garden in order. So right here we have the Vajega bed. Now this is a gray metal raised bed. It is two foot by six foot and it's oval. And we've already put three together, but I wanted to share this very last one with you up and close. Let's get started. So as you can see, it's packaged really nicely. It comes into a small box and it's not very heavy. I was able to carry it out here from the shop all by myself. So it's got the flat pieces all in one spot. I'll pull those out here for you and let me take a look. Jaga instruction book. Let's get this bed together and then I'll show you everything that we love about these Jaga beds. The Jaga bed has a powder coating on the outside. The inside is a 0.6 millimeter zinc coated galvanized steel, so it's triple coated for strength and safety. These beds are supposed to last for more than 25 years, so now is the time for us to start these raised metal beds as we're getting older. This will be a lot better for us as we age. This is the 6x2 by 17 inch tall bed. It's an open modular raised garden bed and it's got all the space that we're going to need to grow our dream garden. Now before you start assembly, it's a really great idea to remove all the plastic wrap on the exterior of the metal beds. This was put on there to protect it against shipping damage and any kind of scratches while you're moving it around. So now we're going to start working on the sides. It looks like there's three panels per side. So each end had two panels, each side has three panels, and so far it's been pretty easy. I think the toughest part was getting that plastic wrap off. Uh, right. Jeremy and I took a team approach. We both did one corner and then we did one side with three panels. Came together in the middle and bolted it up so that it was a nice perfect oval bed. Make sure you don't put the nuts and bolts on the second hole down from the side panels. We'll show you why in just a minute. So out of the raised beds that we have put together so far, I do like how these go together. Less screws, but they're really sturdy. The, the metal's pretty thick. And then when you add this cross member, I like how it really sturdies it up. That's... Couldn't see. the little stabilization bars well that's what I call them to help hold it together so when you add the dirt it don't blow out the sides they're solid aluminum I like it they're threaded on the ends so you're gonna run them screws in there it's pretty neat What I'm going to do now is go get my screw gun and tighten all these up. It does come with this nice tool actually with a little socket on the end of it to hold on the inside while you use a Phillips head on the outside. I don't get crazy with it, just snug them all up really good. See how nice it looks all put together? I'm so excited to get this into place.
now we're going to apply this rubber edging around the top here to keep from cutting yourself if there was some that was really sharp or anything, which is not that bad, but these little corners here where they overlap are a little sharp, and this covers them up and makes it nice. It's real easy. You just poke it on here, just work it all the way around. Sometimes at these seams, you have to kind of try to open it up a little bit to get over it. Try one way, if not another. Once you get it started, then it'll go. Just work your way around. This rubber edging was really easy for Jeremy to apply. It's just there to make sure that you don't ever scratch your fingers on the seams. All right, thank you, Jeremy, for all your help. Now I want to show you that these are light. I carried that box over here myself, and then look, I can carry this to a spot. They're light and easy to move around, so all you've got to do is find your perfect spot and start filling. After placing them down, we realized that the ground was not flat and something needed to change before we can use these beds. So we're having an issue with the, the raised beds at an angle and a big gap because the ground's not level due to the rock. So we're going to try to come in here and add some more dirt underneath this and bring this up a little bit to make them level. So the footage for this area that we leveled will be in a near future video, but for right now, Jeremy's already backfilled it with dirt and we're reapplying the barrier. I kept trying to readjust the dirt underneath the weed barrier just to make sure that these beds would lay nice and level so then whenever we water we don't have any problems with the water runoff. Alright as you see Jeremy's on his way over we are going to fill these two Vajega beds and we've got something special to show you that we're going to do with them. Let's get these filled up with some compost. Thank you so much for watching today. If you haven't already, please hit like and subscribe and make sure that you follow us for all of our garden transformation. Have a great night. Bye-bye.